Greetings, unsettled souls. Well, how many of you listening remember the promise? Remember the promise, right? Let me remind you, in case you've forgotten, the promise was that women, let me fix this camera, women were going to get fair treatment from the Taliban under the ever-inclusive rules of the Taliban's interpretation of Islam. Joe Paggs, a hat tip to Joe Paggs, <clears throat> on his radio show, he had brought something to the attention of his listeners, which I don't think a lot of people may have noticed. I mean, th this was like a P.I. sort of impressive here. Did you notice that there were no women caring for the fallen and the hurt <clears throat> when the first responders in Afghanistan moved to help those who were hurt? after the bombing, which has killed at least 13, I think, Marines, uh, thanks to the fine leadership of Gravelin Joe. Did you notice that there weren't any women tending to the fallen? Now, we all know how intelligent uh, the uh, radical Islamists are. It's only been, you know, through most of history that women have driven the field of nursing and medical care in that regard, but nope. As Joe Pegg said, they are now baby makers. Open your legs and shut up, so to speak. So, I thought that that was pretty telling, so I went to find some other instances, some other occurrences, and uh, this had come up. <clears throat> this also isn't good. Let's see if I can uh, clear that up a little bit. This is from the Sun. Grim, it's just grim to report this. No respect. Taliban warn women not go to work as militants need equity training after terror rape gangs raid villages. Remember we were told how honest and fair they were going to be? The Taliban has warned women, in all of their fairness now, uh, not to go out to work as militants now ruling the streets need equality training to know how to speak to them. The jihadi militants, it's not even the dumbie of the day yet, the jihadi militants have already promised to reinstate Sharia law, and this move is the latest sign that the Taliban are reverting to their old ways. You think so, Shazam, Sparky? Use the thinking part of your brain. She looks like a walking set of drapery. Do you think maybe if she looks like drapery that there is a chance that they're reverting back to the ever-inclusive ways that they are known for? This is what we went there for. When Ron Paul, another great mind, said not to do it. Ever honest and wonderful Taliban spokesman, spokesperson, Zabi Hula Majahid, excuse me. I wonder if spokesperson is his uh, Twitter pronoun of preference. I don't know. He said women should stay at home because our security forces are not trained in how to deal with women and how to speak to them. And you want to run a country. Majahid said that the restrictions would be temporary, how very kind, and the moves were to protect the safety of women. In other words, these animals can't be trusted not to rape the women because they are seen in public without a male chaperone. That's what that actually means. Oh, but once they get educated, it'll be fine. They'll be driving sports cars and wearing bikinis, so I wouldn't worry. It's still a bit of education, that's all. The Taliban has been trying to convince the world that it would be more tolerant towards women, or we believed them on this show. They were going to be more tolerant than when they were last in power. Yeah, it, it, clearly that seems to be the way.
There are credible reports of abuses according to the UN, so take it with a grain of salt. But uh, on this one, I think that they are correct, actually. Uh, reports of abuses by the Taliban against women and that the group was recruiting child soldiers and undertaking summary executions. In other words, killing the people who do not agree with their form of mistaken, wrong-minded religion known as radical Islam. They are killing people who helped America, who are Americans, most likely. And they're taking soldiers as sex slaves and warriors so that they can send them out to blow themselves up for Allah or otherwise sacrifice themselves to gun violence. While the brave Taliban leaders, of course, run the country with their infinite wisdom and open-mindedness towards women. The Taliban gangs are also having sex with dead bodies, repeat, Taliban gangs are also having sex with dead bodies after going door to door for slaves, a terrified refugee claimed. Sex with dead bodies? When was that allowed in Islam? The former Afghan police force member, identified only as Muskan, said that the militants don't care whether the person is alive or dead. She told the news outlet News 18, there's another link, they either picked up women's or families and shot them, claiming they were even raping the corpses. When we were there, we received numerous warnings, Muskan told the outlet. If you go to work, you are under great threat. Your family is under threat. After one warning, they would stop giving any warnings. They raped dead bodies, too. They don't care whether the person is dead or alive. Can you imagine this? This comes as Kabul Airport was rocked by devastating terror attack that left 13 dead on Thursday. It was at the Abbey Gate, and it was caused, of course, by a suicide bomb. Taliban are coming for me. He pulled the military out before getting our people away from these animals. All because of orange man. Now Hosseini, also known as AK because of his tattoo depicting an AK-47 rifle, wants to come home, home from Kabul, Afghan. All because of orange man bad? Has everyone lost their damn minds? They would have never done this under him. Not to mention, can you imagine what the outcry would be if, if uh, Donald Trump left eight billion dollars in weaponry for the Taliban to party with. I've heard as high as 86 billion. Let that sink in, people. That is our president. That's our brilliant mind. That's our great leadership. Let me know what you think of it at the correct views of hotmail.com. And make sure you're watching this from Opera, too. That's very important. That helps a lot. I'm not going to do Afghanistan all day, so keep watching.